Hello. In this video, I will explain about the GPS installer app. Once you log in, you would land onto the dashboard. This is our dashboard. Here, significant information about fleet is displayed in consolidated format. For example, information like active vehicles since last 24 hours is getting displayed to be 18507. Similarly, you can even see number of vehicles added yesterday, which is getting displayed to be 103. So in Crux, you get to know the status of the fleet. Coming on to the next tab, it is Add Device. This feature lets you add a new device. For vehicle tracking, you need to install a device having a unique IMEI number in the vehicle and this vehicle would belong to a company. So let's see how to add a device. First of all, select the company from the drop down list. Say I select demo. Now you need to type in the number, vehicle number on which the device is installed. Now fill in the IMEI number of the device. Next is the mobile number of the SIM that is used in the above device. Device type drop down lets you select the type of the device. Let's say we go for Smart Tracker GT06. Installation date is the date when device was installed in the vehicle. So let, it, let it be 4th August only and then we will click on save. The confirmation message that device is successfully added is getting displayed. Let's move on to the next tab, add company. As the name suggests, this would let you add a new company. So let's see how to do it. We'll just add a new company, test. You can select the time zone. Let's keep it to be IST only. You can even create login credentials that you would use to login into the company's account. For example, I would just say user and then I would type in the password. Now click on update. It says username already exists. So let's try with some another, another company name. Let's keep the time zone again to be IST and we will type in the password again click on update success so we have successfully added a company let's move on to the next tab IMEI in case vehicle information is not getting displayed on the portal then you need to check the IMEI number of the device mounted on that particular vehicle for that you need to enter the IMEI number and then click on check. This IMEI number does not exist on our server. So that means you need to do something about this. So this is the way you check it. Let's move on to the next tab, raise ticket. If you are facing any issues, hardware issues, software issues or any of them, then we are there to support you. All you have to do is fill in the details and click on race ticket. Let's see how to do it. Here you just need to simply add the mobile number. Then the type of the problem. For example, I am facing some software error. And here you need to give the details of the problem. And then click on race ticket. So, your ticket has been successfully registered and our team will get back to you soon. Send rating. Now here, you need to click on sync with server to get all the resolved tickets. Now look out for your resolved ticket and rate it according to your satisfaction regarding the solution provided and the experience you had with our team. For example, my resolved issue is 
Number 21, device integration issue. So let me rate it. Suppose I rate it 4. Now click on send. If you click yes, this rating will come to us. So this is how you can send your rating. The last is your tickets. All the tickets raised by you can be seen in this tab. So these were the tabs. Now see on the rightmost top corner the red button. This is the logout button. If you click here, you will log out of the application. Thank you.